Is the crypto bear market rally over for now? Well, probably. In today's video, I want to look at some of the charts that are showing that the uptrend could be coming for an end, but maybe Ethereum still has enough juice left in the tank to save us in the short term. My name's Lark. I make videos on investing. If you do like that topic, make sure to subscribe to the channel and of course, leave a little thumbs up on the thumbs up button to let me know you do appreciate this kind of content. Now let's get into it. Well, it seems that Michael Burry has sold out of the stock market. That's a good place to start off our bearish video here for today. He's largely moved into cash. Now he does still have like one stock technically, but uh, he's basically completely sold out of the stock market. He's putting his money where his mouth is that things are bad and they're going to get worse. He's been a very vocal critic of the current market scenario, a very vocal bear saying, look, we're not even like halfway there yet. Things are going to get way worse before they start getting better and that we're currently only in a bear market rally. I've been echoing the same thing here saying that Bitcoin basically just in a bear market rally right now. Don't expect some rush back to new all time highs for the markets. Now let's take a look at the S&P 500 because it tells a very interesting story here. See, while everyone was getting mega bullish as we started smashing into resistance here, new paradigm money, let's all YOLO into a bunch of meme stocks, et cetera, et cetera. The reality is we are smashing into resistance. As you can see here, big areas of price resistance coming in. The RSI was showing an overbought reading, which for a bear market is definitely something to be paying attention to that, yeah, that rally is probably a bit overheated. But the most important and probably simplest thing to take a look at here is the downtrend line. Look at this. This is from the all time high back here in January, right on down. And look what we just hit into. Bam, smashed right into the bottom of that trend line and was rejected. That's pretty interesting. That's pretty interesting. That's a pretty logical place for the S&P 500 to peter out on its rally and to then come back down to maybe find some new lows or at least to retest some key areas of price support on the way back down here. So. S&P 500 smashed into key resistance, got rejected. Now, before we get into the crypto charts, I just want to say if you are a cryptocurrency trader, you need to get yourself an account over on Bybit. It is the best place for longing and shorting Bitcoin, Ethereum, all of the top coins. They also have a great spot market, one of the biggest in the world. Use the link down below in the description, get your account and get 30% off your trading fees and up to $4,450 freaking dollars in deposit bonuses. So if you are a trader, check that out. I actually want to start off by talking about AVAX today because this, I feel like, is just representative of so many charts right now in crypto. AVAX has broke its uptrend on the RSI. And honestly, there's so many coins that have done this. You can see here, we had a nice little uptrend going and then blammo, right down through it. We also lost our 50-day exponential moving average. This is the kind of price action that tends to indicate further downside is possible. And look, maybe we catch a, catch a break and bounce back up quickly, get some bullish news coming in that something great has happened in the macro economy. But that's a pretty serious uh, rejection here. Look at that. Look at how far we've come under that uh, uptrend line, right? So it's basically completely demolished and wiped out uh, weeks of building price action on the RSI. Now I did, yay, get a, an order filled here at 2510, right around the 50-day um, exponential moving average. Price is now shot way under that. Thankfully, it was a, only a small bid, nothing of major size. My next orders for AVAX are in at 19, 18, and 17 dollars. I like AVAX. I think it's a strong coin. I think it's got good potential for the next bull run. That's why I will be stacking up a little bit of that throughout this bear market. But you look across the big charts, the big coins, look at this, Bitcoin just showing a lot of weakness right now in the market. We can see, let's just go one by one here, MACD, bearish crossover. Now this is the kind of bearish crossover we've actually crossed up over the, uh, the zero line here. So when we tend to get these bearish crossovers here, that's usually bad news bears in the short term for the price. So we have that bearish crossover that's just come in on the MACD, the RSI, uptrend broken. Look at this. We had a beautiful uptrend going here for a nice long time. That's broken. Well broken. Yeah, we broke it at uh, 57. We're now down at 44 on the charts, 45 on the charts. 
Still big breakdown for the RSI uptrend here. You can see here the price uptrend as well, also breaking down. So that's been in place since mid-July. Been a nice little run here for it, putting in those higher lows moving up. Now we still at this point are technically in a higher low scenario, but that does not have much to hang on to before we actually see that breakdown as well. You should be prepared to see some of these potential price support areas come in, maybe around $20,000 would not be out of the question. We have also lost the 50 day exponential moving average. So lots of indicators showing that the market is rolling over at least in the short term. We can see here the price of Bitcoin also got up to basically this previous area of price support here from back on the 12th of May. And that's where we got a rejection at before seeing the prices plummeting downwards. What is interesting is that the weekly charts do still show a little bit of hope. If we look, for example, at the weekly MACD charts, we can see we're still under a bullish crossover. So maybe our higher time frames will still add a bit of relief for us, but the shorter time frames, the daily charts here for Bitcoin, gotta be honest, not looking super awesome at the moment. And again, we can get some nice macro news story that something great's happened and markets will flip bullish again very quickly. That can definitely happen in these markets. We're very, very susceptible to these shorter term sort of moves. But also, can I just say, what a disappointing rally for Bitcoin. Look at what the S&P 500 has done. It's just gone absolutely crazy. Big, strong, beautiful rally. And even the, the downturn is only down like half a percent or something like that. And what's Bitcoin's reaction? Blah, blah. Bitcoin, man, come on. What are you doing, buddy? At least Ethereum's still kind of holding it together. Although we have just broken our RSI uptrend here for Ethereum, so. We will see how that plays out over the coming couple of days here, but we are still trading above the, there's a lot of lines on this chart here, try and clean it up here a little bit for you. We are still trading above the 100 day exponential moving average, which is a nice thing to see. We're still trading above the key area of price support at $1,700. And we're still trading above the 50 day exponential moving average, which by the time, uh, hopefully anyway, if we do get a test of the 1700 area, the 50 day exponential moving average will have moved up to meet that 1700 area. Now, Ethereum, probably the most bullish asset right now in crypto, considering the upcoming Ethereum merge, right? So even though we did get rejected at a very clear area of price resistance, remember we were talking about this, that the rally, our targets were 2000 and $2,200. Well, we only got up to the 2000 target, that was where the price resistance was too much for Ethereum to overcome. We got a strong rejection there, pushing the price back down to where it currently is. But we are still, still about four weeks out from the Ethereum merge. I think there's still room for Ethereum to stage a rally before the merge happens. But if macro turns really bad, nothing's going to save the price uh, of these assets in the short term, Ethereum merge or not. But if we don't get any sort of bad news or anything seriously breaking like China or something like that, then Ethereum still has that potential to stage a decent rally before the merge coming up. Anyway, let me know what you think about all this stuff down below in the comment section. Do you think this is the end of the relief rally? Was it even much of a relief rally to begin with? Let me know your opinion on that down below. Thanks so much for watching today's video and peace out till next time.